record breaking last couple of days here in Dayton as the first four is wrapped up and the winning teams have advanced. The final numbers are in, and 2 News reporter Ethan Fitzgerald is live at UD Arena with the results. Yeah, Mark and Brooke, the games go by quickly, and this year we had top tier programs, and Cinderella's putting on a great show, leading to a record breaking first four. Now, organizers say in all, more than 25,000 people attended the games, and Wednesday's crowd totaled 12,732 people. Those numbers mark an improvement over last season. And UD officials saying the teams this year traveled pretty well, meaning fans outside of Dayton showed up to make this year something special. Now, it does take a lot of teamwork between the city and the university, but UD officials say each year only gets better. From their airport arrivals uh, to their hotels uh, to their transportation around town and everything, we just have unbelievable support from the Dayton region. Uh, and a lot of teams, uh, they, they compliment us on, on how we do that. And I was at one of those hotels as Dayton welcomed the teams as they came in. I pulled, a, pulled aside the uh, St. Bonaventure head coach and asked him, what do you make of this welcome party? And he says, Dayton, they do it like that. They, basically, they are the best in the game. And in all, the first four is expected to bring in $4.5 million to the local economy. Reporting live, Ethan Fitzgerald, 2 News, working for you. And new information from Dayton Police after a